here I have just completed row 21 so I am ready to do row number 22 and I will have to knit from peg 1 to peg 3 just to one peg before the last peg that I has a wrap so it's peg 1 to peg 3 so go ahead and knit those three pegs there's one two and three and now we wrap peg number four take out the stitch wrap the peg put the stitch back on and now you will purl this is row number 23 you will purl peg three to peg one so purl peg three peg two and peg one Okay, and now we have what is called a consolidation a consolidation row. In this row, what we're going to do, we're going to be knitting from peg 1 all the way to peg 17. And on our way, we're going to pick up all the wraps that we put on the pegs. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to knit peg 1 first. Peg two, peg three, and we are reaching the first peg that has the wrap and the stitch. So simply put your working yarn at the very top and grab both the wrap and the stitch and treat them as one. And pick up your new loop and knit both of them as one. There you have it. Now you do the same with the next stitch. Treat both as one. And continue in this manner all the way to the end of the row until you reach peg 17. The pegs that only have one loop just treat it just as normal there we go and that is the consolidation row and now we are at peg 17 so we're just going to purl back to peg 1 so go ahead and purl back and that makes row 25 of our wedge so let's finish it up and we'll take a look at how it looks all knitted. So, put it to the last peg. And that was row number 25 and that completes one wedge. So let's take a look at how the wedge looks. Let's turn your loom around. And there it is, you see, it's a small little triangle. This over here was our cast on row, and we just created incomplete rows, so short rows, to a certain point, thus creating a triangular shape. And that is this small wedge right here on our pinwheel dishcloth. So now you know how to create one of the wedges. So go ahead and repeat rows number 1 to 25 and create five more wedges for a total of six. If you wanted to create each wedge of a different color, after you finish row 25, go ahead and change the color of yarn and complete one entire wedge with the, a different color of yarn. And then you will have a complete wedge with one color then another wedge with another color, then the next wedge with another color, and so on and so forth. And it's going to look superb. So let's knit another five wedges. Once we have six wedges completed, we'll, I'll show you how to seam it up, and we'll be ready to go. Have fun knitting your small pinwheel dishcloth.